Oregon's a perfect place to grow grapes. We've got the perfect climate here. We've got nice, hot, dry summers, and then we've got cold, uh, wet winters which significantly reduces problems in, in this grape growing region. We've started noticing leaves that are reddening. It's called red blotch, which is a significant problem here in the industry. Red blotch virus reduces the quality of the crop and that could ruin a vineyard. This problem is not treatable at all. As soon as the virus is in the vine, you have to take those vines out. You cannot get rid of the virus out of those vines. It really impedes the ability of the vine to photosynthesize normally. It also lowers multiple other characteristics that we're looking for in um, good quality grapes. Hi, I'm Vaughn Walton. I'm an entomologist here at Oregon State University. I'm also a core member of the Oregon Wine Research Institute and I do work on uh, insect pests here in vineyards in Oregon. We're looking at insects that are spreading the virus through the vineyards. Uh, we're getting a better idea of which ones are the most important ones. The ultimate goal of the project is to better understand the virus and to help growers deal with the virus. If you don't know what's spreading the virus, how important insects are, then you wouldn't know how to deal with the problem. So we've identified in some cases that the vines have come, that have been planted initially have come in with the virus. And that's part of the problem. We've already established that. But we're also showing through our work, our mapping work, that the virus is spreading, that there is a bug that's spreading it. These insects are known to be tree hoppers. They're feeding on vines, uh, moving from surrounding vegetation onto vines. They will feed on a vine that contains the virus. They will move that virus from that dirty vine onto clean vines so in this problem we've identified uh, what's called as the deadly triangle and it's nothing different from something like the black plague or the bubonic plague and in that uh, uh, deadly triangle we've got three components we've got the virus which is red blotch then we have the vector and then the third component are the vines which are the host plants so one of the key problems with finding these insects is actually finding them. It's a very, very tedious process. Tree hopper size is about half the size of your pinky nail. And they're also green in color, so, and they're usually feeding on green tissues, which makes it really difficult to find. So we did initial work where we were determining where the virus is found in vineyards we found that it's in the edges of vineyards and that led us to believe that it's spread from the edges of the vineyards rapidly into the vineyard itself. And so we determined from that, we guessed that it's a flying insect. We identified at least two or three of those flying insects that are closely correlated to vineyards where the spread is taking place. That's where we're at at the moment. We're looking at those insects, we're looking at those correlations of spread from the surrounding vegetation through the vineyard. We know these bugs have their unique sounds that they make, and they make those sounds um, during mating behavior. And so if you can mimic those sounds, put that sound somewhat, somehow in a trap itself, we suspect that we'd be able to trap those bugs way more efficiently and that will be a fantastic risk management tool we think in future. So that's why the trapping um, I think is going to be really important so you don't have to search on green tissues for green camouflaged green bugs. So this is where we in the greenhouse is where we're doing our transmission biology studies. We put the insect vectors onto vines that contain the virus for a preset period. Then we move those bugs over to vines that are known to be clean of the virus. 
That will show us whether the bugs can actually transmit the virus from dirty vines to clean vines. There are techniques to amplify the uh, genomic material which helps us make those positive tests. You have reactions that's done with these really sophisticated machines that basically run through multiple cycles and it increases the, the amplitude of the level of the virus. You get a positive curve that goes up and shows that the vine has uh, large quantities of the virus in it. Transmission biology is absolutely important. You cannot say that a virus is transmitted by a bug if you don't have controlled conditions where you're showing that the transmission is taking place. So very often you'll have growers wanting to spray pesticides or they're wanting to disc um, the weeds off and stuff like that, but we don't have the knowledge to tell them, you know, yes, spray or, or disc the weeds or whatever. We can't say that to them at this stage. We don't know if that really works. So we, we need to determine if the biology of the bug to, to be able to tell them that certain methods are going to be helping deal with the problem. Without the growers and without the Oregon Wine Research Institute, this work would not be possible.